Hi there. Bar is open, so let's review the La Trap Trappist double. Hey, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today we'll be reviewing the La Trap Trappist double. And to begin, let's understand what Trappist beers are. Trappist beers are beers made with the production method uh, inherited from Trappist monks centuries ago. Plus, they are still brewed within the walls of the, the abbey, the monastery, and under the supervision of Trappist monks, so that the quality remains the same. And this La Trap Trappist is no different. And if you've been following my channel, uh, you'll notice that I also just did three reviews uh, of a Trappist beer, but those were brewed in Belgium. This one is brewed in the Netherlands. Now this La Trap Trappist Double is retailing at around 8 Singapore dollars per bottle. For that, you will get a 330 ml bottle or a 33 cl bottle with 7% alcohol content. And the description for this beer is a little bit long, so I won't read out for you, but it promises to be a dark brown ale. So let's find out how the beer actually looks, smells, and tastes. And when I pour my beers, I do like to pour them a little bit more haphazardly, uh, because I like to have the foam forming up in the glass. Now, what this does is a couple of things. Number one, if the foam is in the glass, it doesn't appear in my stomach, so I don't feel so bloated after drinking. Number two, I like to see how long the foam takes to settle. The longer it takes to settle, you know, the, the longer it promises to have a finish at the back of the throat. And for this double, uh, it's actually holding quite well, so I'm very hopeful for a nice long finish. While we're waiting, you know, you can notice that for the double, you know, they did uh, in initial with D on, on the bottle cap, plus on the label as well, so you know what you are buying. The next review will be on the La Trap Trappist Triple, which you will see a T on top uh, and a T on the label, so watch out for that. And looking at the colour, it promised to be a dark brown ale. And it's, it's, it's not even really orange uh, along the sides. It's just a consistent brown all the way. Nice cloudy beer as well. Loving it. It just feels so oof. And so far, I love how all the Trappist beers look. Sense-wise, interestingly, I detected hints of banana. Or, or rather, I would say it's a mix between vanilla and banana flavour, you know, that, that scent, rather. Uh, that's kind of what I get from this beer. It also has a hint of a roasted malt smell to a borderline light coffee flavour. So I can feel this vanilla, banana, coffee scent, you know, just wafting around my nose. But let's see if the taste matches up. Very interesting beer. Immediately entering the mouth, banana, vanilla, and that strong beer alcohol smell. And they disappear in like three, four seconds. Leftover taste now becomes a very strong, sweet flavor. Oh, really strong, sweet flavor. Uh, but with that hint of coffee that I detected, so it's like a very light coffee, a very light ex uh, a very light espresso coffee, if I will, uh, and with a lot of sugar. Surprisingly, however, there is not much of a finish. The taste goes and touches my tongue, and that's it. It disappears as well. So you know, however long the foam took to disappear, it doesn't translate back into the finish. Uh, it sort of disappears really, really quickly. But with that, you know, multiple explosions of taste in my mouth, the moment I took small sips of it, I'm going to tell you that this La Trap Trappist Double is extremely good value for money. This monk's 
know what they're doing. Hey there, thanks for watching. Up to this point, I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal opinions and taste preferences. They're not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, like to hear what you think about this La Trap Trappist Double, if you've tried it before. You know, drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do help me click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell, because I upload two new videos every week. Also, if you can, do help me share this video out to anyone you think would enjoy such reviews. Most importantly, my friend, happy drinking!